in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you gave St. Padre Pio of Pietrocin, a Capuchin priest, the great privilege of participating in a unique way in the passion of your Son. Grant us the grace of, and here we pray for any need or any grace or any desire or any prayer we have, thinking of COVID-19, which is uh, very much a part of our lives, that the Lord would put his hand between COVID-19 and us and all those whom we love, for those who are suffering with it and for those who are suffering because of it in terms of the many, many frontline workers, nursing staff, medical staff, surgical staff, care staff, professionals who are at the service of all of us because of this uh, pandemic here in Ireland and all over the world, but also uh, indeed our wonderful uh, scientists, virologists, immunologists and researchers uh, across all timelines, all time zones, who are working so hard on a vaccine. May God give them great success and bring about a vaccine soon for this pandemic. Also indeed, placing in Padre Pio's hands uh, as he brings your prayers before the Lord, all your other intentions, uh, especially for our young people going back to school these days, uh, that the Lord will bless and protect and watch over them. Going back to school is hard enough uh, after such a long period of time, um, you know, away. But going back to school is uh, something that will, uh, please God, be uh, a happy and a safe and a fruitful time for our young people, but also for our teaching staff and whole school community and families as well. Pray also for our world, uh, especially for the troubled areas of the world. Our Holy Father Pope Francis is asking for special prayers on Friday for Lebanon, but also the many, many areas of the world that are in such crisis, apart at all from the COVID-19 uh, situation. We pray for our church. We pray uh, for a creation. We are in the prayer for the care of creation now between now and the 4th of October, the Feast of St. Francis. So all those prayers and petitions and all your intentions that you pray for every night with us on the Rosary and during our Masses in uh, the Church, uh, whether on Facebook Live or whether on our webcam, uh, prayerswithparish.ie, you are... Uh, all in our prayers and we ardently desire these prayers through Padre Pio's intentions and also through the intentions of St John Paul II. Grant us the grace then which we ardently desire and above all grant us the grace of living in conformity with the death of Jesus to arrive at the glory of the resurrection. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Through the intercession of St. Padre Pio, and through the intercession of St. John Paul II, with these relics, uh, these uh, relics of these holy saints, may the Lord bless each of you, and all your intentions, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Through Padre Pio's intercession, and with the mitten of Padre Pio, I bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Keep in touch with us here on Prayers of Parish, as you know, uh, on priorswithparish.ie, also on the Prayers of Parish Facebook page, simply Prayers with Parish, or the Irish Centre for Padre Pio, the Irish Office for Padre Pio Facebook page, Irish Office, Irish Centre for Padre Pio, but also keep in touch with us uh, as well, uh, as we have our rosary most evenings at 8 o'clock on Facebook, on the Prayers with Parish page, and uh, indeed, uh, during the week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, our public mass in the church at 10 o'clock. Thank you. God bless.